Hello and welcome to the demo segment of Gideon Taylor's Extreme Makeover PeopleSoft Edition presentation. I'm Paul Taylor, President and CEO of Gideon Taylor. We're talking about how to give your pre-9.1 apps a total 8.5 facelift without modifications. As we said in the previous segment, the goal of our presentation is to show you two cool tools, PeopleSoft 8.5 and GTE Forms 2.8. We've already shown you comparative screenshots between the two versions and some tips and tricks for enabling and using the 8.5 features in pre-9.1 applications. We're now going to give you a live demo of some of those 8.5 features. Using GTE Forms 2.8, we propose use a quick, using a quick entry approach where you build a custom page for your users to work in that acts as a front end for a delivered component. The quick entry page will implement new 8.5 usability features, bring together all the fields that they need in one place, and will update the target component when it's saved. This will help them get all the great new look and feel features of 8.5 while you're still in a pre-9.1 app. GT Forms 2.8, the most recent release of Gideon Taylor's workflow and self-service development toolkit for PeopleSoft, makes it much easier and faster to develop a quick entry page. Even more exciting, once your quick entry page is working, you can use GTE forms to ramp up your quick entry page into a full featured electronic form, complete with approval routing and notification emails. So let's go ahead and get into a demonstration of the quick entry page. We'll flip over here to a PS session. We'll log in as a department user. and we'll come to a department user front page actually we're going to come straight to the search page for our basic job data quick entry solution let me emphasize here before we show you this this is a uh, really in the in the spirit of a quick and dirty solution to get something stood up fast we're going to extend it a little bit in the course of our presentation, but to begin with, we just want to show you some of those 8.5 features and show you how we can implement them and bring them out in a quick entry solution. So we'll start off by showing you how the uh, type ahead lookups work that you get with 8.5. Type ahead lookups in search, in, uh, search fields or in search records require additional enabling and we've talked about that already in the previous segment but here's an example of what we've put in place for the quick entry page you can see we can search using type ed lookups on the empl ID on the name on the last name and even on the department and these all help us to get down to valid values that we can use to uh, choose the record that we're going to open here and again, this is in HCM 9.0 that we're doing this demonstration. So we'll go ahead and choose off of the Ample ID menu as we type. It narrows down our selections. And we can go ahead and enter our quick entry page. One thing that you will see right off is that uh, you have a different look and feel. We discussed that and showed you some screenshots in the previous segments. This is the SWAN style sheet, one of two main style sheets that you can get with Tools 8.5. You'll see it has the rounded corners on the, uh, on the boxes and has kind of a two-tone gradient fill. You'll see the buttons have a two-tone look and feel. So a little cleaner, a little updated look, and a quick entry page is a fast way to get that functionality to your end users. So first off, we'll go ahead and change the effective date. And you'll get an example of a type ahead lookup here on the position field. And again, this is a little different than type ahead on the search record. It looks the same, but it's uh, different enabling it. So as we type we get the drop-down box with the values that match the string so far.
that pre-populates everything. Now these little icons off to the side are what we're using to trigger the mouse over pop-up pages. This is a great new feature. It allows you to trigger additional information on the page just by mousing over. We're not clicking, we're just mousing over that little icon and that pulls up drill down information about each of these codes, the position code, the department, including showing us the manager there, and the job code info. So the mouse head pop-ups, or the mouse over pop-ups are great little features. We'll fill in some of the other data on the field. And then we'll show you some of the functions of a scrollable grid, another 8.5 feature. This is a grid to gather earnings distribution information. With a scrollable grid, once you define it as a scrollable grid, you get some features right off, including the ability to navigate using shift arrow navigation. And we'll show you how that works. Again, we have the type ahead lookups enabled in here. You'll see we arrowed down to fill in the next row. Before 8.5, you would have had to have tabbed through all the rest of the fields to get down to that second line. But using the shift, holding down the shift button and then using the arrow keys allows you to navigate up and down in a columnar fashion. Makes it easier to navigate a grid, make it a little more, makes it a little more like using a spreadsheet. Let me also point out as we're filling this in that you have with a quick entry approach the opportunity to add edits and also simplifications here at the quick entry form level. So for example our, uh, our position number functionality where we pulled it in and then uh, and then pre-populated the other fields, the ability to add the drill down information. That's something that you can do with quick entry without having to modify your delivered component. We also can add security aware lookups that limit choices by department. And here on the uh, on this earnings grid, you will see some great functionality here with our reconcile button that we've added. So if we uh, want to calculate the appropriate percent to fill everything else in on this second line, we can just hit the reconcile button and that automatically resolves the differences and makes everything add up to 100%. Scrollable grids also allow you to drag and drop the, uh, the columns. So we can drag and drop dollar amount if someone wants to see percentage first or dollar amount first, they can drag it to get it there. That feature is per user, so once that's customized, it's only for the user that's actually doing that. You can also sort by each of those columns by clicking at the top and sort up and then sort down.